These look amazing and the charring on them and the aroma coming off them is absolutely incredible. It actually makes this chicken smell a bit like pork. Now yakitori may mean grilled chicken, but you know what it means to me? Get in my belly! I'm Chewy and in this video I'm going to show you how to make an easy yakitori sauce that can be used on any barbecue meat you like. So just sit back, grab a drink or ten and let's get into it. Yakitori means grilled chicken in Japanese, so for this recipe we're going to need some pork belly. And lucky for me, the great people out at Gippsland Premium Meats have the best pork belly chicken. Pork is like chicken, yeah? Apart from the minor differences of feathers, beaks, snouts and killy tails, pretty much the same. It's time to cut up, oh, it's time to chop up our chicken into small, it's gonna be one of those days. Time to cut up our chicken into equal size, oh, oh, oh. it's time to cut up our chicken into, oh. <laughs> it's time to cut up our chicken into small cubes of equal size. Yay! Yes, I know it's pork. Shh, don't hurt its feelings, it doesn't know. So, we're just gonna slice the chicken belly into three centimetre strips, and then we're just gonna cube that up. Pretty easy so far. Nearly as easy as grabbing a drink. We all know what time it is. Getting saucy time. Stay with me because this sauce has a few ingredients. What we need to do is pop this, 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 this into this. So bring this to the boil, and then we're gonna turn it down and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Now make sure you don't leave it for 10 minutes and 15 seconds or it might boil over. So just scoop out this and that, this and that being ginger and garlic, and then just keep simmering for 20 minutes until the sauce is thickened and reduced. And after 20 minutes we take it off the heat, we're just going to put a little bit of it aside for basting and we're going to let it cool down. So once the sauce has cooled down, we can add the meat to a Ziploc bag and then just add the larger portion of the sauce to that pork. And then just toss it around to make sure each piece is covered and then pop that in the fridge. Best to make it in the morning and cook it that night or leave it in the fridge and cook it the next day. It's time to start making up our skewers and as always, I'm going to be using superior metal skewers. Now if you're still using shards of timber to skewer your food together, don't forget soak them in water so they don't burn your house down. And once you have all the meat on the skewers, you can just pop them aside while we get the barbecue ready. Look, if you don't have metal skewers, wooden ones are okay. <coughs> Today I'm going to be using my Weber Go Anywhere, or GA as they're known, because I want to be grilling over direct heat. I'm going to open up the bottom vent. Why? Because I want to let as much airflow and oxygen into the charcoal to keep it hot. Then I'm going to half fill a chimney starter with lump charcoal. I'll light it up once it's all ashed over. I'm going to dump that into the GA. And then using an old pair of tongs, we're just going to spread that charcoal out so we get a nice even cook. Then we just need to put the grill back in place. The GA is such a versatile little barbecue, so I suggest going out and get one. And when you do, tell Weber that Chewy sent you. You won't get a discount, but they might start watching my videos. Actually, they already do watch. I see you there watching me, watching you. So I'd say it's time to get these yakitori skewers on the heat. Slap them down and hear that sizzle. We're going to give these a couple of minutes on each side to char up. So remembering we cut the meat into cubes, so we're actually going to have four sides to grill on. So that means we're going to cook them on each side for two minutes. So two plus two plus two plus two. We don't want these burning, so don't walk away. Grab a beer and just watch them. And as you turn them, just remember, grab that sauce we put aside and just give them a nice basting. Keep them moist. This would be a great time to subscribe to the channel. While you're there, hit that bell button. That bell button's gonna notify you every time I make fun of wooden skewer people. Today, I'm cooking with a direct heat and these yakitori skewers are gonna take less than 10 minutes to cook. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. One beer is better than no beer. After one bite of these, there's no chance you're gonna be sharing them. Now, these are seriously that good. They should be illegal. Mm. As always, cheers for watching.